And hello, everybody. Thank you for coming to the bunker tonight. If you've been here before, you know how we roll. Indie, original artists, all free, all the time. We do shows on Tuesday and Thursday nights. Tonight we have a new genre for me. It's called Doom Metal. And uh, we do a lot of different genres. And the Waterfall King, uh, I'm really looking forward to this. This is the first genre of the type I've had the... Uh, uh, Mel, I've known for a while, and she, this band is a very, uh, they're gigging a lot now in Chicagoland area. I think they had a couple trips out to Ohio. They're going to tell you about that later. It is very cool. Um, uh, thank you for coming back. If you've been here before, we're going to have a nice turnout tonight, I can tell. If you're on a phone, please put in earbuds, because especially with this music, you want to get all that low end and check the resolution on your phone to make sure you're streaming okay. And log into YouTube so you can leave comments and ask questions, especially embarrassing ones if you know the band members. We have a nice little audience here tonight. A couple late people uh, came. Michelle came in on time, and then there's two late floaters that came in here later tonight. Now, I'll, I'll call them out later for showing up exactly at showtime, but don't worry about that for right now. We have on cameras Brian Christian Adam and Josh Dutch. Not just cameras, they help with the setup and the whole show. And that is simply a great thing. We are free to the audience and we are free to the artists. Uh, we always have been and we always will be. However, um, if, you, if you're so inclined to leave a tip, small or large, it doesn't matter. Uh, we split it with the band and it helps us keep things going. Uh, the links are down below in the description, along with social media links, along with a whole bunch of other stuff. Don't go there now. Don't go there now. But if you like the show at the end, think about leaving a tip. Tonight we're doing a, um, a signature photo. Uh, <clears throat> limited edition. There's only going to be five of them. And uh, this is signed by the band tonight. So there's five of these, and uh, you'll have, if you want to help support the band, it's $25, and the links are below there as well, um, uh, just as a nice little memento for the show. Uh, once again, uh, we uh, that's ab about it for the show intro. I'm I, I could talk more about this band. The sound check sounded great. This is unique music, and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, in the meantime, though, I am going to bring up uh, a couple of things. One is the Bunker's a sponsor, and if you are live in the Chicagoland area, you might know about the Homegrown Arts and Music Festival. It is on July 29th, and it is, is a really, really neat show. This year is going to be big and amazing. I don't know how many bands are. There's two stages, maybe a third stage on the side. It goes on Saturday from about noon to like 11. It, it's continuous. It's nonstop. I will be there. Um, and let me see if I can get Brian on camera here. Here's, I think I can. Hold on one second. There you are, Brian. Yeah, that's right. The Homegrown Arts and Music Festival. Uh, there are 15 bands and 15 acts. Uh, uh, 15 bands, 15 acts. You can follow along with uh, the name of those bands on the line there. Wow, that's quick and concise, man. You should be a radio announcer. Uh, again, um, if, you, if you're returning, uh, thank you for coming back to the bunker. If, if this is your first time, I hope you enjoy it. And we're going to hop right into the show with the Waterfall King. Thank you.
fire.
Yeah. Hi, everybody. We are the Waterfall King. Thanks for joining us. I'm very sweaty already and out of breath and overweight, but I could complain about a lot of things. Um, thanks, everybody, for joining us online. We got, I saw Corduroy Cat was in the house earlier. They've done a bunker session before, so check that out. You can check out, like, old bunker sessions. This will still be here later. Um, make sure you subscribe to the bunker, too. I'll remind you again later. Um, but we got, let's see, who else we got? My band members in the chat don't count. We got Kristen. We got Sons of Ra. We got Wes, who is just back there. He was one of the late ones. Uh, Ashlyn <laughs> from my work. Thanks for checking it out. If anyone else from my work is checking it out, I appreciate it. Rob said, what doesn't Mel play? Um, you know, I'm not too hot at the tuba, um, though I've never tried. Uh, Mo Malif Malifuous Doom, someone said. I have my own genre now. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see, who else is in here? Dingy Girl, B Bots Abyss, J Lo. Yeah, Ashlyn, Billy, Brian. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Damn, nice turnout. Thank you, everybody. And man, those opening songs are fantastic. Hope you keep on going. We're gonna try. <laughs> We're ready to keep going. Keep on trucking, baby. <laughs> This next one's called Crystal.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have uh, two of our favorite fans in the chat, Allie and Bob. Hi, guys. They come out to a lot of our shows, and we appreciate it. Um, Speaking of our shows, I think Fletch put them, our upcoming shows, in the description of the show. So you should check that out. And I think there's also a link there where you can uh, purchase our new shirt. So I think all, all that fancy stuff is there. So, yeah. You guys want to play another one? Vessel? Let's do it. Let's go.
Thanks, guys. What's going on? Cool, back at Reggie's. Brian says, yes, we are coming back to Reggie's August 20th with friends we met when we played at a festival in Las Vegas. Um, they're called Hemlock. They are awesome, and we'll be there with them. And uh, he also says, too bad about Metal Monkey closing. Yeah, we were bummed about that. We had a, a show set up September 1st um, to play the Illinois Doomed and Stone Festival, and uh, Metal Monkey's closing. And it's very sad, but they were always good to us, and we love those people still, and wish nothing but the best to Susie and everybody at Metal Monkey. Um, and we have a couple songs left for you guys. And... Uh, When's the tuba song? Um, that's in the uh, mariachi portion of the show that happens a little later. Um, it's it's all uh, off camera, but it, it happens. Um, it involves your tuba. I just want to say something real quick. Uh, whatever song that you guys like, please put it in the comments what your favorite song was that we played tonight. That would be super awesome. But we're not done, so your favorite could be in the next two. But we do have two more it songs. It could be, but I want to. I want everyone to have that in their mind while they're listening to this coming up. Well, you already planted in their heads that their favorites are going to be one of the last two. No, because now they're going to be focusing. They're like, "Oh, is this my favorite? Is this my favorite?" You can also say none. That's also an option. You can tell us we suck. You can. We uh, we take criticism well. So. I, I don't. Nolan I doesn't. He's going to cry later. I suck. That's not true. Let us know who sucks the most in the band. Comment the name below. <laughs> All right, we're going to shut up now. This song's called It Reminds Me of the Sun.
our second time ever playing that song we played it once at our show last week and uh most of the time when we play we only have 30 minutes to play so we don't have time to play that song but um yeah yeah it's 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 at the moments when you're playing a new song you become hyper aware that this is going to live on the internet forever so you're like don't mess up don't mess up and then you start messing up because it's going to live on the internet forever and so now i just picture myself like playing Wembley Stadium one day and they're like look at this clip and it's just me messing up over and over and over and over same <laughs> shut up remember when I said I carry the weight of the band no. <laughs> he's the strongest he's the smallest but he's the strongest I'm the cutest in case you, in case you I don't know Morian's pretty cute I don't know. We'll take a poll in the room of uh, later who uh, who you think that and drop in the chat. Yeah, just say in the c- chats who's the cutest. And uh, Brian and Fletch, I think, are, should be involved in this too. I think so too. I think Fletch is the cutest. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> we got one song left for you guys. The song is called Droning. <laughs>
picked up a marijuana or pot, and I just traced your number, you son of a bitch. So much bunker.
Crazy cool set. Crazy cool set. Oh, Mel and Mar and Nolan. Thank you, man. That Thank was, you. That was very cool. Um, I'm not a, like a huge fan of that genre, but that but that was actually very very cool. Thanks, Fletch. We appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, thanks for so. having us. Um, uh, when did the band form? How long have you guys been together? I don't know. I wasn't there. Someone else has to answer <laughs> this. <laughs> we we started the band in 2018. Well, actually, we weren't even a band. We just got a room together, and then yeah, it's how it, how it started was uh, I was not in a band. He was just leaving a band, and there was a spot opening up at the rehearsal space that we're still at, and I was like, yo, let's just rent a room here, and let's see what happens. And we both played guitar, actually. I didn't even play the drums, um, and we were not getting anywhere with both of us playing guitar, so I was like, I'm going to play the drums, and we're going to make some donor, stoner doom metal, and uh, here we are five years later pretty much doing, the, doing it. It's like uh, basically... We got all these things ready, and then COVID happened, and then we're like, I guess, well, I guess, what do we do now? <laughs> yeah, right when we finished, uh, right when we got had, had all our music ready to record, we found a bass player. We're start ready to play shows, and then so, the world shut down. So um, before Mel, there was another bass player? Yes. Yeah. Before uh, that person will be unnamed. But um, when did Mel join? Over a year ago. Over a year. A little over a year, like, a little I think. Over a year. Yeah. Okay, okay, because uh, that's the most important thing is because Mel is the person that brought you to the bunker. <laughs> Never right. forget that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mel yeah. has done a lot. I brought them to Vegas. She, I brought them to Ohio. She holds us up. Let's be <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nolan. <laughs> Who uh, carries the weight now, Nolan? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Mel, you, uh, you reached out to me a while ago, <clears throat> and you didn't have that many gigs under your belt, but I knew what you did, and, and, and you said... Hey, this band's going to be doing a lot of stuff, and since then, you like three, four months ago now, really, and yeah. and now you started gigging out a lot. I know you got a lot of shows coming up. Um, they're listed down below, but why don't you read them out in the next month of August or something? Uh, what what you got coming up? Well, we have Sunday, which would be the twenty third, I believe. Um, we're playing at WC Social Club in West Chicago. We're playing with um, a band called the Mendenhall Experiment. And if you don't know who that is, they were uh, they did a documentary actually on the guitar player. Um, his name is Brandon Mendenhall, and he has cerebral cerebral palsy. And uh, someone told him he'd never be able to play guitar. Yeah. And uh, he became friends with bands like Corn and Pantera. And he the documentary actually has a lot of the members of Corn in it. And uh, he's just an awesome person, so we're really stoked to play with them. And then um, let's see, what do we have after that? August twelfth. We're playing at Rock House in West Dundee. Yep. Is it West Dundee or East Dundee? Uh, West Dundee. Okay, I get West whatever. Dundee. One of the directions of Dundee we're playing in. And then um, August, 20th. August 20th, we're playing with uh, that band I mentioned before that we played a festival with, Hemlock. And they're awesome. Hemlock. Hemlock uh, and Stolen Sun and Gina Marie. We also have a podcast we're going to be on called Put the Weed in the Bag. Uh, that should be out. Uh, I don't have an exact date for that. We're recording it on the 30th, so it should be out early the first week of August. Put the weed in the bag, so stay tuned for that one. Yeah, so you guys have a lot of activity. Um, I will tell you that I enjoyed this show a lot. Uh, we were talking about the, the, the generation of the genre called uh, doom metal, and you said it goes all the way back to um, Black Sabbath? Yeah. yeah. Yep. And, and, and so... At the moment, uh, w when you first said that, I really didn't pick up on it. But um, but now that you mentioned it, it was uh, it was like, yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> uh, and and that was great. Oh, um, you have some merch. Do you have a merch link? I, I, you gave me a merch link, right? I do. I sent you a merch link. Um, we'll have. I've been kind of preoccupied with other things. I haven't gotten our music up there. We have a CD and a cassette. Um, but our new shirt that we just had printed a few months ago, we have up on on there, so All you right. can purchase one of those. All right. Um, what a! I hope you guys appreciate the show. We had a great audience tonight. Hold on one second. Yeah, we got 27 people here, and there's only 18 likes. So give it a thumbs up because that'll help the replays for the Waterfall King. I. Oh, oh, by the way, I didn't ask you, uh, where did the name come from? Uh, <laughs> so, um, 
I got this. So we were at we were hiking, me and Morian, when we were first starting the band and we're trying to figure it out and we were, you know, tossing around a bunch of names as one would do. And we were hiking at the Matheson State Park and there's a bunch of waterfalls there. If you've never been there, it's a great park to go hiking, very fun, very beautiful. And um we get to the top of this waterfall and Maureen is like taking pictures of everyone at the top of the waterfall with like this this walking stick that I had. And uh he goes up there and he stands like at the edge of it and he grabs the staff and he just goes, I am the waterfall king. <laughs> and then I was like, that is the band name. That's got to be the band name. Like that just makes sense. It just works. Like this is perfect, you know, uh, and that's it. We just stuck with it. Very cool. Very cool. I, I always ask the bands where their names come from. That's a very cool. That gives you a little bit of insight to how stupid we are, too. Like we play this like serious, <laughs> we play this like serious, like music, but we're like three giant stupid goofballs all the time. <laughs> we don't take anything seriously. Our man, um, thank you so much. You got a lot of shows coming up. Some of them are listed below. I am going actually knowing that you're going to get a, a real kick out of this. So here is your set list. You were worried about telling people what what um, actual you know shows to play, but the set list is up right now. Heavy rain, filth, crystal vessel. It reminds me of the sun and droning. Is that it? Droning? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, how uh, age of these songs? Any new ones? Any old ones? What, what do you like? Uh, th this th those all songs are on our record. Um, we kind of wrote them kind of as the process went along as we were figuring things out. Crystal is probably the oldest song. I saw Dan Schnell in the comments. Me and Dan and Maureen remembers Dan. We went to ECC together, and we had a recording class that we took together, and we actually recorded Crystal. That was kind of like also a good push for us. Like we had a deadline. We were going to record in my recording class. They were going to have us come in and record. And that was kind of also like the deadline that brought us into like, you know, putting a song down and kind of continuing with everything. We Excellent. literally had like three days to come up with that. Yeah. And we, just, <laughs> we just hammered it out and that was it. All right. So I'm going to throw this back up um, within the next two minutes as I close out the show. The audience can put in the comments for their favorite song, and we're gonna we're gonna cue it up live tonight. And we're gonna replay it on the way out, which is very cool. Thank you very much, um, man. Thank you, Waterfall King, for coming. Um, great show, great times. I um, will. Uh, let me see what I'm gonna do here. Oh, I'm gonna pitch your signature pick one more time. If you want an original, one-of-a-kind, five of them, we're only going to print five of them. The links are down below. Uh, you can do Venmo and send me an address or eBay. And uh, that is that is really, really appreciated if you would like that. We also um, we're, uh, we take tips. If you like the show and you want to leave the band a tip and you want to leave the, if you like the bunker, that would be great as well. But most important is that you like and subscribe and come back here every every Thursday. Again, uh, uh, we like tips and we like to sell photos, but we're free to the audience and we're free to the artists. Always indie, always original. And I will bring up, uh, we actually, um, here, I'll, I'll back up just a second. The bunker goes dark in August for a lot of reasons. Most people are out on vacation and a lot of, and a lot of people are doing other things than sitting around a, uh, a YouTube screen and watching something. So we go dark in August, but we're coming back hot and heavy w with a whole huge lineup in September and October. The, uh, but we do have a solo artist, um, David James, uh, uh, at the end of July, next Tuesday. And um, you know how our solo shows go. It's very intimate. It's, it's, it's very real. Coming back in September, the Lost Pyramids are going to come back for the second time which is very cool. This band really kicked it up the first time they were here. They have a whole new album to release. Uh, I became very good friends with them, and I like to uh, I like to see what they're doing. Glasshouse Owl, I don't know them, but, the, man, they're doing great things. They're gigging a lot, and it, 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 that's also going to uh, be a great show. You can follow all our shows. I think there's 10 or so out there, and I have a bunch to add. 
uh, if you go to our playlist uh, after the show, go to the playlist and and set the reminders uh, for them, and, and, and that would be great. Uh, we have, I will say this again, we have about two or three years ago, um, BCA, uh, this is how I met uh, BCA and Josh, I think, well, at least Josh, maybe not BCA. The Homegrown Arts and Music Festival um, I got involved with in two or three years ago. It is a fantastic thing. It's in Lyle, Illinois. It's coming up Saturday, July 29th. And if you guys, uh, the audience, if you live in the Chicagoland area and you want to have a unique experience, even if you're like, don't go out to concerts all that much, come here. You'll have a great time. The food is great. Uh, big inside bar, three stages. It is hosted by somebody who's become a very good friend of mine named Aaron Williams. And uh, they, it's all indie and it's all original, which is really neat. They're, they're, you're not going to find cover bands there. They're bands that are, are doing their thing. Um, old bands, new bands, solo artists. Uh, there's artistic, uh, I'm sorry, there's artisans there. That uh, it's sort of a it, it's a it's a fantastic festival. So please, please do that. I think I have the links below. If I don't, it's called Homegrown Arts and Music Festival, and you can buy a ticket. And please do. I will be there. Uh, and if uh, you're any bands or, or anybody interested in the bunker, I will be. I will be there and glad to talk to you about anything and everything. I'm going to throw up the set list one more time. How, how are the votes going? Is anybody checking the comments? I think uh, It Reminds Me of the Sun seems to be the winner right now. They want to hear it without my mistakes in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was gonna pull out those mistakes from there, Mel. Uh, I'm glad you did it for me, so I didn't have to call you out. On I'm gonna it. like loop that f- like five seconds, and it'll just be our intro music for when we walk out on stage every time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am going to cue up that song. I think correctly. Uh, I think I have it. Thank you so much for the Waterfall King, and thank you, everybody, so much for tuning in tonight. Great audience. Uh, Press the like button. uh, Leave a tip. Buy a picture. Whatever you want. We have one more show. We're going dark in August, and we have a big, heavy-hitting lineup in September and October. Uh, And I'm going to throw... Mel, you're going to be back on camera to uh, uh, close it out. That is, if Brian can move the camera to Mel... I think we will be there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, thank you, guys. <clears throat> thank you, everybody, tonight, and have a great night, and take care. We'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Thank you.